Welcome to the 95th Christmas Eve pageant at First Christian of Richmond. I'm Philip Miller, the interim transitional minister here, and I'm privileged to be with you on this virtual service. We have the live nativity scene outdoors, and you can listen on an FM transmitter to this service as you participate, whether at home or on your device or in the parking lot, enjoy the Christmas pageant with us until the final bell tonight. Sundays of Advent, we have lit the outer ring of candles on this wreath. First, we lit the candle of hope. Hope is a star that shines in the night, leading us on till the morning is bright. Second, we lit the candle of peace. Peace is a ribbon that circles the earth, giving a promise of safety and worth. Third, we lit the candle of joy. Joy is a song that welcomes the dawn, telling the world the Savior is born. And fourth, we lit the rose-colored candle of love. Love is a flame that burns in our heart. Jesus has come and will never depart. Tonight, we light the white candle in the center of the ring, the Christ candle. White is the color for purity, and for the season of Christmas tide, which begins at midnight tonight. Glory to God in the highest, the light shines in the darkness. Our first scripture reading tonight is from the ninth chapter of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Oh 
from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him. This is a reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 2. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. 
For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. from the Gospel of Luke, second chapter. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord hath made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them.
Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 2. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together the chief priests and elders of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. And then opening their gifts, their treasure chests, they offered him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.
shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary soul rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, O oh, Let all within us praise his holy